Hi, it's Andy. Uh, I got another tutorial for you today. This is going to expand on the last tutorial we did with um, where we just created a database with a person name in it. Um, now we're going to actually go a little bit further. We're going to upgrade the, the database and add a name, email, phone number, and actually create a card view where we're going to pass on that information from one activity onto the other activity. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Um, since we have a little bit more information, I've uh, deleted the one edit text and button field and created an alert dialog. So let's see. I apologize if I have any issues with um, display. I've upgraded my Ubuntu to 14.4 uh, and I have some video card issues that pop up every now and then. So let's see. Let's add a phone number. Now on uh, the version that I'm going to be uploading, um, I have this emulator to tap into my my keyboard. Uh, and the reason for that was I was having video card problems where uh, the keyboard, when it came up on the screen, completely messed up the screen. So um, I actually have these uh, specific input types. So this one is actually an email input type and this is a phone input, email type, um, input type. So uh, this will just bring up a number pad and I'll have like with the you know parentheses and dashes and stuff like that. This will give you text with the at sign inside of it. Um, it's also dependent on country to like locale. So the phone numbers, if you have a different form, for, format for a phone number, it's gonna be um, different for according to where you are so um, just wanted to mention that since I'm not showing you that in the tutorial so let's hit save so we got our new person of John Smith let's click on him and when you click on it it opens up a new activity with John Smith his phone number and his email address and kind of like a card view um, and you can also save uh, location of um, of an image file um, it is a lot of work to do that I I have done it and I can do a tutorial on that if you really want to um, but it, it's gonna be a lot more work in creating and cro cropping and making sure the sizes are right so I just put a generic um, the, the icon for this project in there too just to show you that it's like a card um, so to do this so I'll show you what um, what the code looks like. So let's jump into Android Studio. I've added a few more uh, classes, so that and I've edited just about every one. So let's go first into our database. So we increased the uh, two two more fields that we're saving. We're saving a phone number and an email. So we have to add that into our uh, create table string, and uh, we would upgrade this. So we would have to drop the table. Um, I just kept the version number to the same, but if if you try to run this and just make the changes, it's going to crash. Uh, you'd have to uh, increase this to two, and then this will trigger this and drop the table and uh, recreate it. So um, to prevent the crashing, um, increase that to two, but I, I, I just left it as is because I, I just uninstalled the project and reinstalled it. and. Um, you don't have to worry about that because it deletes the previous database. So next thing, so this just, we added two fields. Next thing we're going to have to do is um, make sure that our getters and setters call those two fields. So let's go up to here and we have our two additional fields here and then um, added the getters and setters for them. Also, we're implementing this parcelable and that, I'll show you what that, uh, where we're going to use that. Uh, but it's actually pretty easy to implement a parsable and it's incredibly fast to transfer the data. So uh, this is all related to the parsable um, ins and outs. So we have our input string and what our output strings are going to be uh, going on to uh, the new activity. So this is what's going to happen. We're, we're not actually going to access the database and the second activity. We're just going to pass on a bundle of strings and stuff like that and then um, the the next activity is going to sort it out and decide what to do with it. So that's that's what the parsable comes into play, and it's incredibly fast. So 
I didn't even put it onto a new um, uh, a new thread. It's it's totally fine, I guess, for this example. If you have a lot of data, you're gonna want to put that in a separate thread um, when you read the data. So I didn't for this case. It's not a big deal, uh, as you can see, it runs fine. So those are changes to that. Um, main activity, like I said, I got rid of the button and the edit text. Uh, what I did in now is uh, I implemented uh, an on-click listener and then also the fragment dialog. So I'll go into the on-click listener first. Like I said, um, we're implementing a parcelable and that's going to be right here. So when we click on um, um, any of the items on our list, we want to create a person model for that person that we're getting and then pass that information that we get from the database onto the new activity. And then our new activity, uh, let's see, is person info card. All we do here is I have three text views and I want to set the text to the text views according to what they are. So um, we're passing on this, uh, the bundle that gets passed on is get, gets caught into uh, this uh, parcelable and notice we're using the same model the person model that's going to determine okay I, I passed on a this person an object and it has you know email phone name and also an ID which I didn't um, I didn't do anything with if I wanted to I could also create a another uh, text view and show you what the person's ID is somewhere on that page if you wanted to and that you don't have to change anything else to the code in this case um, you just have to put another text view and then set the text to that ID if you wanted to um, so this is pretty simple straightforward code um, like I said it's not in a separate thread it's just since it's very simple and only three text files uh, three text uh, strings um, it, it doesn't need to really be put in a separate thread for this example all right so uh, let's go into um, the dialog fragment so uh, it's actually pretty easy to add a dialog fragment with its own custom view uh, right now this dialog fragment is uh, add person dialog and all I did was it, there's just three um, edit text fields and so that's what these are we and then you want to put in an interface and make sure that the activity also implements that same interface which is is right here um, it'll automatically prompt you to implement it once you um, or add the methods that you need once you implement it here so uh, as long as you remember to do this step your app won't crash there's also a way to catch it to make sure that it doesn't crash or when it crashes it'll tell you oh you, by the way you forgot to add that um, I didn't do that in this case because it's you know it's, it's just one dialogue fragment that I have to keep track of so it's not very hard um, but what we need to know from our um, from our dialogue is the name the email and the phone and we're gonna store those into strings and pass it on to the activity to do something with so that's all you're doing here with the interface is you're passing on the results that you get onto the activity that's going to actually do all the work so um, it's pretty easy to inflate a dialogue um, from a custom view so here's our custom view um, here's our three edit texts from the custom view and uh, all we're going to do is do a, a typical alert dialogue builder we're setting a positive button to save um, and then what that's going to do is it's going to take the three text uh, uh, um, three text strings from the edit text and we're going to pass it on to the activity that's all this is doing so once we're into the activity we go on to our on finish add person dialog so we're going to create a person uh, we're going to set that name email and phone number and then we're going to tell the database to create it. So, and then once that's completed, we're going to now uh, call the 
async task to repopulate the data on the screen. If you don't do something like this, the data is not going to repopulate. So you're adding a person and it, they won't show up, but they are being saved to the database. So you're going to want to repopulate your data after you've saved it, any changes that you make. So that's why we're doing it here. And then also on our lo on long click listener, uh, I don't, I have it there somewhere. Ah, on our on long click listener, we're also calling it again once we delete the, the person from the database. Okay, um, let's see, is there anything else I really need to go over? Uh, this is just implementing um, the option, I, the, the menu, action bar item. Let's see, is it, close it. Let, let's see if I can go backwards and see what, oh yeah, our database helper. So it'd be helpful to actually go, oh, data source file, sorry. It'd be helpful to actually access this new information. Now, uh, remember how I had added this uh, array of strings? This is where it's gonna come in handy because now you have to add two more to it, but all you do is add it there and your cursor knows now to um, look for them when you're passing on to the data onto the next activity and stuff like that. So um, here's your, your person, you have to add two more items to your uh, your create because we're now we're adding the email and the phone, and we have to add the two more items as well to when we find the, those people. Sorry, I have a, a cat and she's wants to play now. Um, so those are the you have to. It's pretty easy to edit your your classes. You just got to make sure that you keep track of all of it, girls. You, you might have think you've implemented everything and then it crashes. So that's all this um, this columns is right here. So we're gonna okay and uh, just show you I guess the the view for the the card. It's just a relative layout. I just incre uh, just a card background. This is the typical Google um, card background from like the Play Store. It, it, it's just um, a drawable file and uh, that's where that's in here I just set that as the background um, for this relative layout where I have the image view the text and the three text views okay so I hope you like this tutorial let me know what you think and um, what else you might want to watch